Hello there everyone, welcome to another video of mine. I've recorded this a few times, I kept on forgetting to mention stuff, so I'm gonna try to really be straightforward with this. So in this video, I am just mentioning a couple fixes regarding Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 that a friend told me about. Uh, she showed me some Reddit posts, showed me some Reddit posts uh, with some fixes regarding FPS issues and stuttering issues. Um, I'm not sure if the FPS fix is specific for more lower end computers, but maybe it'll work on higher end. I'm not sure. And the stutter fix hopefully should work for all types of configurations. But uh, I guess just to get to the gist of it, uh, so the first fix for the um, FPS issues is uh, you first need to download Process Lasso and install that. And then once you have Process Lasso installed, you need to launch Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 and wait until it's at the main menu and fully loaded. You can't do this before then. So make sure you are at the main menu first and then, you know, hit the Windows start key or something to uh, kind of window the game, open process lasso, and then find the Flight Simulator EXE process. Go to priority class or right click on it, go to priority class, go to current, and then where it says Windows Dynamic Thread Priority Boost Enabled, click that to disable it. And that should hopefully increase the average FPS for you. It definitely did for me. Like uh, the FPS on the menu sometimes dropped all the way to like 15, 10. Um, but this team seems to be more consistent at uh, higher frame rates at the main menu. It might not seem much, but that's the difference that I noticed. And then actually in game, I noticed a uh, higher FPS when flying around. I uh, flew from the San Diego International Airport and flew around for maybe like 10, 15 minutes. And the FPS was regularly around um, like 20 FPS, 15, 20, which honestly is playable for this, at least to me. Um, and just to show you my settings, they're kind of stupid for my setup. I only have a i5-6400, 16 gigs of what, 23, 23, 33, 23, 66, or much slower RAM than what is in most gaming computers these days. And then a 1650 Super and a 4 gig graphics card. And then uh, this is on an SSD. I forget what SSD. It's a SATA, SATA 3. I can't remember what it is. But as you can see, my settings are kind of stupid for my weak configuration. But I just wanted to see how much of a difference this FPS fix would make. And it did make that difference because it was actually playable at this, even at 1080p. Going from 720 to 1080p really did not affect the FPS at all. It was still sitting around 20, 15, around there. But yeah, so I guess just to repeat, once you're at the main menu of the game, you will window the game or however, you will open Process Lasso, you will right click on the Flight Simulator EXE, go to Priority Class, go to Current, and then Windows Dynamic Thread Priority Boost Enabled, you uncheck that so it's disabled and then for the micro stuttering or the stuttering issue you oops i shouldn't have clo i guess i could close that but uh basically you open up file explorer you right click on this pc go to properties and then from here you go to advanced system settings go to the advanced tab and then where it says performance click settings Go on the advanced tab in the performance options menu and where it says processor scheduling, change to background, uh, background services. And I believe you'll have to reboot, but after that, hopefully you should fix these stuttering issues. I've not tested the stutter fix yet, but um, hopefully it does make a difference uh, for me and you know whoever else might be experiencing that issue. The person that wrote the post about it said that there's still some micro stuttering, but it's probably just from scenery being loaded and things like that. But uh, yeah, so that is the gist of it. The uh, FPS fix, super simple, and the stutter fix, which is super simple as well. Hopefully this helps some people. I will post the uh, Reddit posts in the description so you guys can read more about it and see what other people say and how their systems are and stuff. So I guess other than that, thanks for watching and I will see you whenever I make a next video.